I want to sell you someone else's book. And I could do that by telling you what the book, I'm Not Dying With You Tonight by Kimberly Jones and Julie Siegel is about, but I'm not going to. It's obviously, it's obviously really good, right? It in fact, reads kind of like an action thriller, which blows my mind. I am not usually like almost all of this is nonfiction. I don't really read a lot of fiction, but I read this and I was able to read it really, really fast because it's gripping. It's like a freaking Marvel movie of a book but I'd actually rather tell you about the book event that I just went to where I got to meet both of the authors. I took seven pages of notes. One quote from the night. We gave up a long time ago on being universally liked. They made a lot of choices in the book that might make people angry, that did make people angry, and they chose them anyway, one specifically. The protagonist, Lena, is unapologetically a girl from the hood. And this quote from the night absolutely stuck out. Lena never code switches. If you don't know what code switching is, it refers to the pressure that minorities, in this case, black Americans feel to assimilate into the dominant culture that they're in. In simpler terms, this just means talking, presenting, dressing, acting whiter. So why would having a protagonist who refuses to code switch make people angry? Well, um, a lot of reasons, actually. I have other videos, and we will be discussing in future videos the digital reasons, the sociocultural reasons, and even the psychological underpinnings of this visceral reaction that Americans have against a hood girl being the hero. But I think Dr. Ibram X. Kendi actually explains this best. A lot of people think that anti-racism work should have the goal of assimilation. But the goal of social progress is not forcing black Americans to fit into white society, but rather to change the society to be accepting of more cultures. Celebrating a black protagonist who is unapologetically black works against the cultural eugenics of assimilationist tendencies in a white supremacist society. Uh, it sounded kind of pretentious. Let me just quote them instead. Literature is one of the strongest ways to nurture empathy. You're going to love Lena and you're going to love Campbell. And getting to know them is going to help reprogram your brain in a good way. I'll have links in my bio to buy it. But more or less, that's why 